My name is Gabe, and for the next few minutes, I'll show you how Gemini Enterprise makes your teams faster and more productive by providing a single entry point to all of your AI systems and tools. Now, here I am in Gemini Enterprise, where I can chat with my company's data across internal and external sources, search for relevant information, and leverage agents to automate workflows and unlock new capabilities for me and my team. The beauty of Gemini Enterprise is that it offers the familiar interface of the Gemini chat app, but built for enterprise workflows, including full control to enable or disable any of these sources as needed. In Agent Gallery, we can see a variety of agents. One's made by Google, one's built by our organization or by our partners, and the best part, agents that I've built myself. Let's say that I work for a party supplier. I'm in charge of building many campaigns. To streamline my workflows, I built a campaigns agent. But before I show you this agent in action, let's take a quick peek at what's going on under the hood. This is the agent designer tool available in preview. It lets me build or edit any agent with natural language or visually. What you're looking at is the visual blueprint for my campaign's agent. You can see that the agent is orchestrating four other agents. We've got a market research agent, which identifies trends and performs a competitive analysis. A gen media agent, which generates copy, images, and video with our company brand and guidelines in mind. A comms agent, which drafts and distributes team communications. And last, an inventory agent, which checks and adjusts the stock of our products. My colleague Taylor built this inventory agent, and he's here to show you how it was done. Hey, Taylor. <clears throat> Thanks, Gabe. So enterprise engineers often need to build custom solutions for their company. Let me show you how I built the inventory agent using, or for Gemini Enterprise. So to do this, we're going to use Gemini CLI, an open source agentic terminal to build our agent using natural language. So our first prompt for this is going to be, I would like to build an inventory agent that follows this design doc. Can you create a plan? I'm going to hit Enter. So I've asked it to build this, and it's using a document that my team has put together as a design document for it. So immediately, I'll go ahead and hit Accept. Gemini CLI is able to read this Word document using an MCP server, a model context protocol server. MCP servers are at their, co their core are one of the many ways you can expand Gemini CLI's capabilities to connect it to all of your data, no matter where it comes from. So all right, after getting our design doc, analyzing it, we now have a plan for implementation. So it's asking, should we go ahead and implement this? We're going to say yes and hit Enter. All right, so immediately, this is actually using tools locally on my machine. This is the Agent Development Kit CLI, so ADK Create. In this case, Gemini CLI is showing how it can utilize anything and everything on my machine to solve requests of any complexity even scaffolding a basic starter project. So we're going to let this go through. So next, it's time to implement. And just like a developer might dig through code and do a code base in order to figure out what to do next, Gemini CLI is going to do the same thing. So here's our first file change. Let's take a look. Notice how everything is rich and colorized. We've designed Gemini CLI to feel super familiar to the tools you use every single day. So let's actually, in this case, let it go all the way through, and we're going to let it write all the code for us on our behalf. All right. So as you may have noticed, during this whole time, Gemini CLI has been asking for my permission. And we could have said no. We could have course corrected. But we chose not to. It's truly our control. So for this case, it's now up to the next step here. Because we've gone ahead, we've designed our agent in our design document. We've implemented it. And now it's actually time to deploy. So we'll go ahead and say, would you like to do next? We'll say deploy, and we're going to enter. So in this situation, Gemini CLI is able to, again, utilize our ADK CLI to do this deployment and even string together the necessary syntax. So if we look here, there's a lot here. This is actually quite challenging to get right. But it's amazing having an LLM that knows absolutely everything at our fingertips. So with this, we're going to go ahead and hit accept. Now for this command, it's going to take a little bit to run. So for now, this is how I have built the inventory agent. And as this cooks, I'm going to actually hand it back to Gabe. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Taylor. All right. Now, let's see that campaigns agent in action. 
We're gearing up for our biggest holiday campaign of the year, Halloween. I can see my campaign's agent is already suggesting some prompts for me. Let's go ahead and do plan this year's Halloween campaign. The agent knows the first step here is to do our market research. This task normally takes multiple teams many hours, even days. Deep research for this takes around three or four minutes. By calling the Deep Research API, my agent can do the work and the time it takes me to run for some coffee. To get these tasks done, Gemini Enterprise leverages a variety of real-time sources, including Google Search as well as internal and external data sources. It can connect broadly to all kinds of essential enterprise services, including Microsoft 365, Jira, ServiceNow, and many more. We ran the same prompt right before the show, so rather than waiting, let me go ahead and click over, click over to it. And here we go. I get a summary of key insights and recommendations with links back to the full reports. And these insights are exactly what I'm looking for. I can see there's lots of good trends around pop culture. Uh, we know that DIY is really big right now. And we are also seeing that it looks like space sci-fi and fantasy is going to be a big theme this year, which is really great because our Galactic Ranger line perfectly fits this theme. And this is where it gets interesting. Based on that trend, the agent has flagged a critical inventory gap for the Galactic Ranger line. We're seeing that demand is going to be about 25% over our current stock. And down here at the end for my key actions, it's asking me already, do you want me to create purchase orders for the Galactic Ranger in service now? Yeah, we've got a demand higher than our stock. Let's do that. Now, my campaign's agent is analyzing and planning the specific adjustments in our inventory system for my approvals. These interactions save hours of manual work. But none of that matters if we can't trust the security. That's why Gemini Enterprise is designed to keep me and my company in complete control. It enforces granular access permissions, ensuring my agent can only use data I'm authorized to see and can only take actions that I'm authorized to do. It also includes security, to security protections like model armor. So when my agent updates external systems, I can rest assured that that data is protected. So now we've got a response, let's see. And I can see for our store locations, these numbers look good, and it says, you wish to approve. Yes, please, go ahead and approve the orders. Behind the scenes, the orders are being made to be sure that we have plenty of Galactic Rangers on hand for Halloween. And now inventory is all set, and my agent knows that I should probably in, uh, inform my store managers about these incoming orders. It's asking, would you like to place additional inventory orders, or should we move on to emailing the store managers? I want to email them to let them know. Our comms agent is now drafting that email for me to send to our managers. And let's take a quick look at the email. We've got good theme information. We've got when to expect the shipments coming in. And finally, it's scheduling a, a kickoff meeting for us on Thursday. That looks great. So I'll go ahead and send the email. And with that email sent, the next step, now we need to promote our new inventory. Let's go ahead and have it create some social media assets. Create three images for social media. On the back end. The media agent knows which catalog photos to use and how to follow our brand guidelines really closely. The agent leverages Gemini 2.5 flash image, or as we all know it, nano banana, to edit our stock photos with some pizzazz while still preserving the specific product details. And here we go, let's take a quick look. Okay, I like that one. Eh, I got Mars, that's cool. Okay, I really like this dancing one, but let's see if we can make it a little more engaging. Animate the group dancing one. VO3 is doing its magic. It takes about a minute to generate a video. So again, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a previous run where we've already generated it. And let's take a quick look at what it did. I like how it even adds some intergalactic disco music. All right, this is great. So now that that's all set, I need to pivot to preparing for that kickoff call. I've been working on a deck, but I want to make it more dynamic and generate some excitement for it. So here we are back in our prototype for vids, and it's got some upcoming, upcoming features I want to show you. Vids can easily turn my presentation into a concise, engaging video. So I'm going to go ahead and import some slides, and here we see all my most recent slides. Let's grab our Halloween kickoff campaign. Here's where I could hand select which slides I want to use. I want to take all of them. And Gemini provides editable scripts for each scene and it selects preset AI avatars and voiceovers, as well as animations. Now I'm ready to bring it all together. So I'm going to give it a minute to generate our video. 
And just like that, I have an engaging video. It even added some background music. I don't know if you can see down here. I added 80s retro horror soundtrack. But let's see if I can make this even better. I'm going to go ahead and add a scene using VO in vids to generate a, a video, add some reference. We'll grab, yeah, our skeleton bestseller, one of our store interiors, and our employee uniforms. And I'm going to add a prompt to tie it all together. It's a long prompt, so I'm going to cut paste it here for us. And I love it. At the end, it's going to have the skeleton say, like, they've been in the stockroom since November because, you know, Halloween put it away. Go ahead and generate it. And in just a sec, VO and Vids is going to make a clip that should bring this all together. I'll add it to my deck. And let's see what we got. I've been in the stock room since November, and I've got some ideas. Welcome to the 2025 season kickoff. Not too shabby. All right. You can try converting your own slides into vids today at vids.new. So there we have it. We started by showing you how Gemini Enterprise makes it simple for anyone on your team to build powerful agents, whether with an intuitive visual builder, natural language, or Gemini CLI. Then we put that power to work, orchestrating a full-scale marketing campaign in just minutes. We went from deep market research to managing inventory and service now to drafting team communications, and finally, to creating stunning, ready-to-use social media with the magic of VO. Gemini Enterprise is more than just a chat interface. It's an end-to-end -end AI system that unifies your data, your tools, and your teams, turning weeks of complex work into a single streamlined conversation. <laughs>